absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. Aren't you a clever girl? <laughs> <laughs> you would think that because it's all this like, it's kind of a oh. bit sort of 80 -y. When I look at you, I'm going to kiss you. Because <laughs> <laughs> even though the grass is like coming through in the wrong place and stuff, it doesn't look bad, does it, when there's loads of other plants? Not at all. Perennial sweet peas. Yeah. It can be permanent, it's going up every year without me thinking about it. I've had a lovely day so far. I've been to pottery. It's my favourite thing in the world. So I've been to pottery and had a jolly, lovely, lovely time. Um, and then I went to the post office, posted off something that I've been meaning to well it's those rope bowls you know I, I started making them yonks ago and then I've only just finished them and it's taken me almost a week to get them in the post <laughs> that and a few other bits um, and then I have oh, got a plant in there that's falling over there's a one of their bargain campanulas or campanulas I don't really know how you say it I've always said campanula I've heard people say campanula recently and I prefer the word campanula. I like nula, campanula better. Feels nicer in the mouth. So I hope it is pronounced campanula, not campanula. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been to the post office and I went to the hardware shop next door and I got some metal paint. I got some creamy colour for my plant theatre that I showed on yesterday's vlog and a greeny one for an old table and chairs. I'm not 100% sure I've chosen the right colour. So I think between the two of them, I can make up the correct colour. So I've got options. Um, um, and then I went to the garden centre and I've got a big square faux zinc pot and I've also got this terracotta pot and this, I've forgotten what it's called, it doesn't look like much but it's, it's a nice shrub, it's um call it an Escalonia. It is! It's an Escalonia Pink L. So it's evergreen and it will have nice pinky flowers round about now and then again in autumn and it will grow to five foot if it was planted in the ground but I am going to have it in a pot so hopefully it will stay a a manageable size. Now I'm going to go home and have something to eat because I'm absolutely famished and it's half past two and I need to walk the dog and I need to set off on the school run for Wilfred. Um, picking him up at half past four today. So I've got time and I've got enough time to eat because I don't need to leave the house till four. So an hour and a half to eat and walk the dog and empty the car. That's the day gone. And then tomorrow, the dog needs to go to the groomers. I need to drop this car off at Quick Fit to get the tires and the brakes looked at because one of the tires looks like it's wearing irregularly and my brakes started squeaking. So I just wanted them to be checked. And whilst I do that, whilst the dog's at the groomers and the car's at Quick Fit, I am going to go to my friend's house, Julie, and she 
she won't be there but we're key holders for each other's gaffes and she's got a load of stuff that she wants to sell on eBay as do I so I'm going to sell hers and mine and give her the money actually she said give the money to build school so that that was my timer going off because I didn't do my two o'clock squats <laughs> and I keep I keep hitting snooze um, I should have just done them in a one and my legs don't ache at all today which is wonderful and they would have been over and done with maybe I'll just do the last lot while, um, while I'm cooking my lunch I'm just gonna reheat some soup sort of make last night's supper leftovers into a soup I eat those. right that's that's me done because all I'm doing is prattling on <laughs> later. I've just potted up that geranium that I bought today to fill in the gap on my planter and I've noticed that my I've noticed that my um garlic I think are ready to pick. I had a little fertile around the bottom of the stem and it looked good so let's Let's have a go. Where's my trowel gone? Let's cross our fingers. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, let's get a bit further out. Nervous. <laughs> Ow! I just got myself on one of my failed rose cuttings. Look, it did start rooting and then it failed. That's why you have to take hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. Oh, done it again. Oh, that came out quite easily. Oh, it's not that big. I wonder if I wonder if it needs to keep going. But then it's the plants are actually getting rust. I think I need to Google. Hold on. It says that if your bulbs are small. You can wait until the stems have gone yellow. But I have heard you can do stuff with these garlic scapes, so I'm going to snip those off because I'm assuming they're taking power from the bulb. So that's what I'm going to do. Shall I bury that again, see if it continues growing? Yeah, I'm going to. Nothing to lose. Aren't these lovely? Look at them in the sun. Love them. Like witches baubly fingers with their talons. Ooh. Hubble, bubble, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron, bubble. <laughs> Got some Monge 2 coming, purple Monge 2. But this one looks like it's flopped over and it's landed on my sprouts. And I don't know what that is. Just going to let it grow. I've got a funny feeling it's a sunflower that's transplanted itself. This is green manure. Can't remember what it is, what plant it is. Got some beans. They're a bit slow, those ones. My runner beans are running. They're coming. Look. Yes. Hurrah. And I've got a couple, just three sweet peas that I can pick. And the chamomile's on its way, so that's nice. I need to plant something in there. What a big eye you have. <laughs> Come on. I've got a splinter. Toby's going to do surgery. Where is it? There. I could do with some glasses on. Ow. What have you put on it? Surgical spirit. That's not helping. Well, you've got to try it then. Wow, it's yeah. stinging. Ooh, a bit windswept. Mission unsuccessful. I now have a hole and a splinter. <laughs> oh, it's stinging as well because of the surgical spill. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to cook supper and I might put some dahlias in a zinc pot. But it's half past six and I've been going all day. I did a bit of gardening this afternoon that I didn't bother filming. Um, at some point I ought to stop. 
or I will get overtired. Overtired gainer is a Harridan. I'll just do the food and do the dailies.